as an open world Assassin's Creed has a reputation of you know, a game who is paying a lot of attention to detail, so we really push that to a next level in Assassin's Creed Revelation. A lot of people from the team had the chance to go to Istanbul to be immersed in the city. Constantinople, okay, I gotta make it. Istanbul was formerly known as Constantinople. I was part of the team that, uh, that go there, get reference from there. Over here we've got Hagia Sophia, and it's the most known landmark in Istanbul. You can climb it and also you can access the inside. It's really impressive. <laughs> To make the sound realistic, we went to Istanbul to recreate the ambiences, the crowd life, the merchants, the Grand Bazaar, the, the, the call to prayer sounds, and to generally get a feel of the immersion of the city. I went with a rig to record sign sweeps, which actually capture the impulse responses of the interiors. So what you actually hear in the space, the echo, for example, is what you're actually hearing in the game. And that's the first time in any game that I've ever heard of. There was a reason I had to go to Istanbul. <laughs> I worked closely with Simon Lantry to capture the essence uh, for the soundtrack. The composers were Jesper Kite and Lorn Bolf. And for the scripted events, uh, for the cinematics, we collaborated with Melbourne Symphony Orchestra. The results are quite outstanding. We took into account that Constantinople was in the middle of the world at that time. It was a very interesting blend of many cultures. So we tried to find a fine equilibrium between the Western world blended with the more Eastern world. It ended up using a lot of Greek elements in the music, some Persian elements as well. I personally think that we achieved like the best 5.1 mix I've ever heard for an orchestral interpretation and can't wait for the fans to hear it. <laughs>